Once upon a time in the bustling city of Mirador, there lived a young and ambitious lad named Oliver. From a very young age, Oliver had been fascinated by the world of magic and illusions. He spent hours engrossed in books about famous magicians, studying their tricks and techniques. Oliver dreamed of one day becoming a great illusionist himself. Mirador was renowned for its annual magic festival, where magicians from far and wide gathered to showcase their extraordinary skills. It was during one of these festivals that Oliver's life took an unexpected turn. As he eagerly explored the festival grounds, he stumbled upon a grand stage where a master illusionist named Maximus the Magnificent was about to perform. Maximus was known throughout the land for his mind-bending illusions and unparalleled showmanship. His performances always left the audience spellbound, their minds reeling with wonder and disbelief. Oliver watched with wide-eyed fascination as Maximus performed one awe-inspiring trick after another. The young lad was completely captivated by the artistry and mystery of the illusions. After the show, Oliver gathered the courage to approach Maximus, expressing his admiration and ambition to become an illusionist himself. To Oliver's surprise, Maximus smiled warmly and saw potential in the young lad. He offered Oliver an incredible opportunity, the chance to become his apprentice. Thrilled beyond measure, Oliver accepted the offer without a second thought. From that day forward, he embarked on a journey of discovery, delving deep into the secrets and intricacies of Maximus's illusions. Oliver learned how to manipulate perception, misdirect attention, and create seemingly impossible feats through sleight of hand and clever stagecraft. Maximus proved to be a patient and wise mentor, sharing his vast knowledge and experience with Oliver. They spent countless hours in the magician's workshop, where they crafted props, designed elaborate sets, and refined the details of each illusion. Oliver's dedication and natural talent impressed Maximus, and a bond of mutual respect and friendship grew between them. As the years passed, Oliver's skills flourished, and his confidence soared. The once aspiring magician had transformed into a formidable illusionist in his own right. The time had come for Oliver to perform alongside Maximus at the next magic festival, an opportunity that both thrilled and terrified him. The night of the festival arrived, and Oliver and Maximus took to the stage, their hearts pounding with anticipation. Together, they wove a mesmerizing tapestry of illusions that left the audience breathless. They made objects vanish and reappear, defied gravity, and even made an elephant disappear before their very eyes. As the years passed, Oliver's skills flourished, and his confidence soared. The once aspiring magician had transformed into a formidable illusionist in his own right. The time had come for Oliver to perform alongside Maximus at the next magic festival, an opportunity that both thrilled and terrified him. The night of the festival arrived, and Oliver and Maximus took to the stage, their hearts pounding with anticipation. Together, they wove a mesmerizing tapestry of illusions that left the audience breathless. They made objects vanish and reappear, defied gravity, and even made an elephant disappear before their very eyes. But amidst the thunderous applause and cheers, Oliver realized something profound. The true magic did not lie in the tricks themselves, but in the emotions they evoked, the sense of wonder, astonishment, and belief in the extraordinary. The illusions were merely a vessel to transport the audience to a realm where the impossible became possible. Oliver understood that his journey as an illusionist was not just about mastering tricks, but about connecting with people's hearts. The stage had become a place where dreams came alive, where the ordinary could be transformed into something extraordinary. From that moment on, Oliver devoted himself not only to the art of illusion but also to the art of enchantment. He continued to perform alongside Maximus, mesmerizing audiences with his own unique style and flair. Oliver became known as the Illusionist's Apprentice, a testament to his humble beginnings and the profound impact of his mentor. Years later, when Maximus retired, Oliver took his place as the city's most revered illusionist. He dazzled crowds with his spellbinding performances, and aspiring magicians flocked to him, hoping to be his apprentice and inherit his legendary knowledge. And so, the legacy of the Illusionist's Apprentice continued, passing down the secrets and artistry of magic from one generation to the next, ensuring that the wonder and mystery would forever thrive in the hearts of those who sought to believe in the extraordinary.